Yeah. Good afternoon, students. Today we are going to discuss about the uh, importance of osmosis to living organisms. So, in the previous class, we discussed about this, how to make semi-permeable membrane. So, majorly here we discussed in the previous classes about two, four types of uh, membranes: impermeable, permeable, semi-permeable, and selective permeable. Four types of membranes we discussed. So, based on that, we done different types of activities in the last session. we discussed about semi permeable membrane function by using the egg layer boil like we have to break the shell inside white layer is a thin layer that acts as a semi permeable membrane by using that to we done an activity and that is completed in the last session now today we are going to discuss about importance of osmosis to living organisms so first we can write our lesson name plasma membrane what is our lesson name plasma membrane okay so what we are going to discuss here today today we are going to discuss about importance of osmosis to living organisms importance 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 of osmosis of osmosis to the living beings or to the living organisms to the living organisms so what is the importance of osmosis in the living organisms that we are going to discuss in this session here some questions are given that one by one i am going to uh, asking you i am going to explain you so the first one is water enters the roots through osmosis so plant also living being plant root system absorbs water from the soil how does it occur so let me draw a small picture just you have to observe here for example it is a root system you observe clearly upon this upon this there are some root hairs are there root hairs are there the thin hair like structures we can find so look here the black color which we just uh, we have to take it as root hairs upon that small holes are there that absorbs water by the process which we call as osmosis whatever the water is there that entered that entered and it push up wall root present the wall in this so the water absorbs and push up wall so what happened here osmosis the cell membrane which is in that root a it absorbs water and it push up wall by the process that is called osmosis the next point we are discussing water moves between the cells through osmosis so here okay i am going to explain one more thing also here for example the water entered up to here so all the plant made up of cells for example here cells are there what is happening here whatever the water is there i am going to show with the red color the water here so from here the water entered into in this cell so the cell receives the water from the soil next to that water entered into another cell by the process 
it crossing the cell membrane and it enter into another cell it crossing and it enter into other cell so what is the point here we are discussing between the cells one cell to another cell in a transfer how does it transfer it crosses the cell membrane by the process of osmosis so here this is the second point so what it gives a water moves between the cells through the osmosis so between there are two cells are there one cell into another cell it crosses the cell membrane so that is called a osmosis next point we are going to discuss it helps in opening stomata and closing opening and closing so where do we find the stomata we can find stomata upon the limbs so that stomata open uh, and it send out the water vapor outside by the process transpiration so for the transpiration the stomata open guard cells open and closes so this is the process water allowing and water sending outside and water allowing also here opening and closing opening and closing of stomata so this is the another point next what we are discussing the next point we are discussing it brings about the movement of water and minerals like certain plants certain certain plants so inside the water some of the soluble substances are there so some of the substances dissolve in the water that substances crosses the cell membrane in certain plants it is moving one cell to another cell while it is moving it cr- it crosses so that is the next in our body waste materials are filtrated from the blood so in our body in 10th class we are going to discuss about excretion chapter so in our kidney the blood filtrate and waste materials are removing so there also osmosis process so waste materials are removing and remaining it moves up as usual so there also osmosis process next in our body useful materials are reabsorbed along with the water through the osmosis the useless waste materials are removing and useful are absorbing so osmosis two process we discuss exo endo osmosis so waste are send out that is exo useful are reabsorption that is endo osmosis who absorbs in our body in the blood in certain organs wherever it requires so these are the importance importance of the uh, osmosis to living organisms we discussed here some points about uh, in plants and some points about in uh, animals especially we are discussing about uh, human beings next we are going to discuss about uh, diffusion the next process diffusion so this is the topic we are going to discuss now what is diffusion here about the diffusion also some questions we are asking diffusion a little topic everybody had this experience but uh, you don't know it is a uh, diffusion now you are going to uh, get the practice and you are going to know and you are able to say now after uh, watching this video and after listen this video okay what is given here there are other ways in which materials move in a media so materials moving in one materials moving one place to another place in the other ways by using a medium so one of the medium one of the substance which carrying one place to another place so what is that that we are going to discuss here. let us study one such a process by the following activity now we are going to discuss about that process by the following activity what is given here if a bottle of scent is opened one corner of a room what will happen so what is given here if a bottle of scent open that gap if you press it a corner of any room what will happen what do you observe later on after that what is going to happen can you expect that 
if you had an experience you know it if you don't know about the, the such experience then you can do now also later on this video you can uh, use any spray any one of the corner of your room in your house then you observe what will happen then you are going to know what will happen so how do you feel after applying that how do you feel it it's a smell the scent smell spreads in the entire room the entire the room the, that the smell spreads let us think of the following so why does it spread what is the reason behind that what happened there simply so the medium whatever the word we use that is scent spread inside the air in the molecules of air so it spread entire the room so that only given here in our textbook so through the air it passes entire the room so that occupying the process is called diffusion that we can discuss with the different uh, examples here so the direct word i am going to explain here that is the process is called the diffusion what happened here in the air the scent molecules mingle with the air molecules and it is spread enter the room so after spraying after few minutes if you observe enter the room you feel the same smell what is the reason it is spread in the room along with the air so that process we call as osmosis so what are the questions which are given in our textbook once you see and you answer that how does smell spread in the entire room through the air next is the smell spreading uniformly in the entire the room yes slowly it moves where we applied from there to the entire the room slowly it occupies and it moves next can you reach the scent bodily if you are blind folded by closing your eyes if can you reach the scent bottle so where the scent bottle is there there somewhat concentrated there is a little comparison is there variation we can find but by closing our eyes we are unable to find because entire the room the same smell we can feel so that's what we are unable to find the bottle where it is located next when blindfolded how you are able to locate the scent bottle how you are able to locate the scent bottle with the smell can we find the data we cannot find can you give any other such examples so many examples are there in our day to day life not only scent even in our houses nowadays due to mosquitoes we can use insect uh, incense sticks so to send out the mosquitoes even all out smell tortoise smell okay so like that uh, room sprays odonils whatever the uh, substances which gives a good smell which we are using in our houses all uh, substances spread the entire our room along with the air by the process that is called a diffusion right here activity 3 completed now activity 4 we are discussing what is given here there are other process in which substances move in a medium let us study other another such a process by the following activity again other process also is there whatever the other process only that is a diffusion process with the help of the diffusion with that process it is spread all over the cells if it is in the cell it is spread all over the room if it is happening inside the room so that is the process even in the cells even in the room so the medium either it is a water or either it is a air so through the air through the water that is spread so here one more activity we are discussing that is a fourth activity what is that you have to take a copy powder make a small ball and keep it in the container later on you can pour the water 
what will happen then slowly the coffee powder ball dissolve in the water and it spread with the color after certain time the entire the um, water change into the coffee color whatever the brown or pink color whatever the color which is given here so it spread what is the reason behind that do this activity as many ways as you could like you can do that you can take uh, uh, some water cold water or you can take a hot water by using the hot water or cold water you can keep the coffee powder or tea powder inside that then that powder dissolve in the water and it spread the color of the water changes what is the reason behind that the color of the water changes due to diffusion next putting the pinch of a coffee powder first and add water slowly pouring hot water on the pinch of coffee powder etc so note your observation for each situation and write down what you infer or what you find so what will happen there all the substances which are and dissolve in that water so if they dissolve no doubt they change the color of water that we will find by doing this activity next we are going to discuss activity 5 so what is the activity 5 here potassium permanganate remember here the word potassium permanganate km km n o KMnO4 potassium permanganate crystals so potassium permanganate crystals you have to keep in a petri dish and add water what will happen potassium permanganate dissolve in the water and it changes into pink color what is the color you remember that pink color pink color potassium permanganate crystals dissolve in the water it changes into pink color what is happened here the crystals dissolve the molecules spread into the water so enter the water changes into pink in color due to diffusion that is the process here we want to discuss next we are going to discuss about the, the other materials also we can use some of the examples which are given here instead of potassium permanganate we can repeat with this copper sulfate also we can take so copper sulfate if you take then copper sulfate crystals also dissolve and it also changes into uh, blue color i think so so like that you can take any one of the substance which is able to dissolve in the water so there in the previous activity what did we discuss in the previous activity we discussed about to um a in in the a that to dissolve and it it spread but here about the scent bottle when we discuss the scent spread in the a the medium is a there here potassium permanganate dissolve in the water inside the water it spread then copper sulfate also we took in the water and that also dissolve and it spread inside the water so here medium is water which means liquids and gases so inside the liquids and inside the gases so some of the substances spread so it occupies equal level of the places by the spreading the spreading process we call as osmosis so here some examples whatever I, which given in our textbook so activity 6 also is there what is the activity 6 here this activity can be done with the other substances like copper sulfate crystals water based ink etc compare the movements of coffee powder and potassium permanganate the first activity coffee powder second activity today's first activity coffee powder and second activity potassium permanganate and the recently previous one which we discussed about copper sulfate now we want to compare copper sulfate and ink in water write your inferences so what are the differences whatever you took so time may be fast or late 
based on the quantity of food substances if if we take uh, solids it takes more time to dissolve and it takes uh, spread uh, into the water more time if you take liquids uh, it as early as uh, uh, mingle with the water and it spreads so that is a difference we can find but uh, spreading process inside the gases or water in that medium gases medium or uh, liquid medium so that process is called osmosis so the definition is given here what is osmosis means you have to write the definition by the the process by which some materials when kept in a medium like air and water spread equally throughout is called diffusion throughout is called diffusion once again the process by which some materials when kept in air or water when kept in a medium like air and water medium like air and water spread equally throughout is called diffusion so if we kept any material in the substances like air or water so that spread throughout the room or throughout that container so that process is called osmosis osmosis the process is called diffusion so that is not osmosis that is a diffusion spreading process is called diffusion osmosis means crossing over the cell membrane so first crossing over the cell membrane that is osmosis later on spreading again after that uh, again cross and spreading so osmosis diffusion osmosis diffusion it uh, occur between the cells inside the cell diffusion occur after that uh, osmosis occur again when it entered into the another cell there diffusion occur again uh, osmosis simultaneously osmosis diffusion process occur in the living cells so this is about uh, diffusion so now one more small topic is say uh, that we are going to discuss so for we have studied about osmosis diffusion osmosis and the diffusion there are other processes the occur across the cell membrane about which we will study in higher classes not only osmosis and the diffusion but also other sources are there that we are not discussing here that we will discuss in higher classes so that is about right so up to now whatever we discuss the difference between the solids and liquids ink and crystals we discuss up to now so crystals and ink means solids and uh, liquid substances uh, diffusion rate uh, upon that diffusion rate one of the scientists made uh, activity who is known as thomas graham so scottist in our textbook in the do you know matter is there do you know so there is a small box is there in that about graham given what did he do what what was his activity and what was his conclusion which is given there so once you read that also scottist physical chemist worked on diffusion of gases graham observed the rate of diffusion of gases and also studied about the diffusion of substances in solutions so how the diffusion process occur the rate of diffusion occur in the gases so how the substances uh, uh, dissolve in the water and spread so solutes dissolve and spread in the solutions so the rate up in this both uh, he observed the rate of diffusion he had inferred that he explained or informed that a more soluble substance in a medium diffuses faster than less soluble substance this properly known as graham's law of diffusion what is graham's law of diffusion we can write a question so what happened here which dissolve more and uh, that spread more which dissolve less that spread very slowly 
so if they dissolve more and more spreading the rate of diffusion is more in which dissolve more in the liquids and uh, which dissolve very slow the rate of diffusion is also slow so this is known as gram's law so up to now the end of the fourth chapter plasma membrane chapter completed next we are going to discuss about the sixth sorry four fifth chapter so before that i want to say today we discuss about the what is diffusion definition uh, write the activity on diffusion what are the question which is there in your textbook you have to complete then what is gram's law also you have to write clear so what is the rate of diffusion in uh, gases and liquids that also you have to compare that only gram's law so this is the enter the plasma membrane chapter so you know it very well four membranes are there impermeable permeable semi permeable and selective permeable and functions of uh, cell membrane today we discuss diffusion we discuss and osmosis also we discuss and the grams law also we discuss here so it is the enter the chapter plasma membrane